on the alien caster. Okay. <clears throat> it's actually pretty decent. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this outcome. I got, Come on, guy. You're not here. <laughs> Uh, that's 100% kill uh, I'm not sure if I mean we have a lot of targets we can go for I do wonder what his movement range is like it's yeah it is measured from his uh, actual position not his uh, indicated one so uh, really <laughs> last time uh, mm. such an okay, XCOM you go last. such an XCOM comment um, really mm -hmm. So, Inquisitor, two shots, so we can get up to five shots uh, on these guys. Maybe even more. How much? 100%, 100%, 94%. Yeah, I mean, odds are great, so let's just start popping heads. Um, 2 HP one. Do we have anything that seems drastically out of range for you? It doesn't look like it. So, yeah, we're just going to take what we can get. Take out the 100% ones first. Since I think he will have by far the best chances of hitting stuff. You go away. Did we get... No, we didn't get two swarms at the same time. Okay. Uh, reload. That's our first action gone. So we can take another three shots and reload. Or potentially... I will have to ask you after the mission again if the grenades do indeed attract them quicker or something. Because I seem to recall... That was a thing. Anyway, uh, more right. free damage it shots. Because else I would have said as soon as he's out of ammo, we're just going to chuck a grenade down to take uh, like out that cluster that I'm currently shooting. But instead, we're just going to take as many shots as we can and take them out where possible. 88%. Probably good enough, yeah. That's about the best I can get. That's 4 HP, 2 HP, then you go out next. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, now we could throw a grenade, potentially, but we are going to reload. We don't have any grappling hook either, so no free movement. Okay, then uh, Roby himself. Like, I really want to just dash him here and, and grab the supply <laughs> crate. I do believe most of our soldiers can do that in theory. I don't seem to recall if you can actually activate the crate you, afterwards. You and actually, they didn't mark this one, so we're perfectly fine. They marked this one. Okay. Scrap what I said. I'm going to take his turn. Um, can we shoot through the hedge? I'm going to assume no. So, in that case, I believe the position he's currently at, where he can shoot at things, is actually quite decent. So, we're just going to go from here. Um, how's our friend doing? The alien soldier. He's there. We can probably take two shots at heads and then move in position to take out the, uh, the soldier. So, it's a good strategy. I like his thinking. Yeah. Sorry, wrong button. Eighty-two percent. We have four to six damage. So, kill, please. Thank you. Um, I would say it is extremely unlikely that we fail to kill uh, these remaining three zombies. Though this guy, I guess, has a lot of health. Um, so, this visual thing is like really screwing me up. So, I can go here and activate this, in which case, yes, please. Oh, the greed, the yeah. greed. The greed. <laughs> Finally, we're getting in more into more. If trouble. I mark it now, are they going to take it away and I not have cover? <laughs> That is true, it would be the case. And if so, when will that happen? Because if they're going to take that cover away, I want to run away. Route to make the pickup. I feel like they're going to do it all the way at the end after the other faces. Else that would be a dick move. And obviously XCOM wouldn't do any kinds of dick moves, would they? Um, oh. 
Uh, I guess it's an option to shoot this tank. I mean, I like that option. Does it kill the guy? No, it does not. And he, if he would play it um, well, he would really go um, for the zombie. Yeah, let's not do that. The zombie is the his yeah. The, his, let's have a look is... here. So, pretty much guaranteed. That is another option. Pretty high guarantee. These ones are fine. Oh, Start on Lancer. Yeah, I'm just gonna hope that the uh, thingy stays here. Zero percent crit chance on these um, these lost for some reason. They are undead. Mm. And it's um, immune to crit. Chris should know that because he's an expert in dungeons and dragons. Maybe one more shot. Again, my favorite play will probably be to just chuck a grenade on these three guys. Um, well, original plan was take out to take out this guy in cover, so we're gonna do that with the last shot. And then up to you. Whew, that's uh, tough call overall um first things first we're going to take mike the public bravo he's going to move up taking out the lost stasher that's good next up let's try to take him out that's a miss We're going to give Roby an aid protocol because we don't want him to be completely annihilated. There is a certain chance that that might happen. And let's kill as many losses as we can. Certainly not good to miss two 80% shots. Let's see what we're up against. Let's see what we're up against. The three will go for Roby. Oh, that's a problem. But we got ourselves at least one crate, so that's a harsh, tr uh, harsh uh, exchange. He didn't necessarily need to um, charge to it, but I think he just got it. This inhaled. black crate isn't gone. The cover's still there. Doesn't matter because this guy just moves really far. Okay, we we didn't have enough zombies yet. Let's add one more. The good uh, point about me that putting in the, the aid protocol is um, the stun lancer takes the target that he can hit the best, which in this case was a, a zombie over us. So by uh, providing um, essentially that aid protocol, uh, we have removed ourselves from the targeting pool. Uh, for shots, it is a bit different. They are going to go for the zombies first. And next round, they will uh, try to take the next um, available XCOM target. So that's why, despite another zombie being available, um, that operative just has decided to take a shot on us. Um, Roby's biggest problem now is that he might take a hit. Luckily, he okay, did not. The defense protocol did at least something. No, it did, it did a lot. He just didn't him? know it. Oh my gosh. What a Let's close see. call. Or is it still here? It just has a balloon attached to it, which, no, it's gone. Okay. I thought just, there's a balloon now. We can't pick it up with the claw anymore. It's against the rules. Um, hmm. What do we have here? This does count as cover, so that is neat. Yeah, it's a perfect position. But um, we have an okay like line of fire anyway. We're not shooting you because we can't one-shot you. Nope. This guy is like a 90%. Uh, that's the zombie. As far as I recall, the zombie dies if we kill the, uh, the Zectoid anyway. That is true. So what we could do is move uh, Roby or Robbie, like over here. <laughs> then use a grenade, um, which is always the correct choice. Um, but the more correct choice in this case... I like his thinking. Surely, surely the last coming in after shooting grenades has been just a fluke, just accident. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I like that. 
Is that two targets? That is two targets and the cover. That's what I want. So go poof, please. Scientific experiment. Is there any kinds of lost thingies? Yes. Owls echo nearby. Okay, I'm just going to assume from now on grenades do something with them. Uh, can I have less of... Actually, I want more of these missions. They go better than our alien missions. Way better. <laughs> um, we really don't want to move, so we can shoot twice. That's a good um, idea. Can we get to our friend over here? Yes, we can. That 81%. Excellent so that idea. should be a dead alien. Unless we miss one of our two shots. Regan, how? Keep on going. Okay. Um, can we, like, be a prick and pull him up then? Is that an option? No. Might be a range issue. We don't have a grappling hook. So I guess the correct choice would have been to just move forward and then grab him. No, he did the correct choice. He oh. actually played it. Hindsight. What? No. Oh, no. Oh, that was okay. a misclick. I picked my, my one button twice. Very sorry about that. I wanted to shoot the sector. Good. So how do we deal with that situation? We're in a bit of a tough spot. Um... Moving back to here to get out of the range from the zombie. And we got reload. Uh, Zirkim is moving back as well. And we got a support Roby. So that Roby does not die. Uh, mistakes have been made, but uh, we're still in the game. So we are doing okay. Next round there will be... I'm sure more. that Alien is very happy that you healed up the guy that is going to mind control him. <laughs> it would be funny if that would happen. No way, Chris! How is that even possible? I was kind of kidding. <laughs> How is that even kinda? possible? <sighs> oh my gosh. Well, You're that literally is... literally standing on air. You have bigger problems in flanking. <laughs> wow, that is a tough... No way! Don't... Oh my gosh. I was so sure that it wouldn't happen. Ouch. All right, I needed to take a very short toilet break. Um, uh, so we're back. Uh, sorry for the... Uh... Yeah, it looks like my controls this time are actually working. Um, good stuff. So, uh, one of my guys taken over, one of your guys dead. I'd say we're even <laughs> in that regard. So, uh, of course, the sectoid is in cover. So, no free shots on him. 60% uh, isn't too bad. Um, I do want to see how many aliens are currently alive, like alien soldiers, that is. Uh, really just two, right? It's Sim. three. He's forgetting about the Star zombie, and then there should be, like, this Advent guy over here, I believe, was also... Yeah, this guy as well. So, only really two enemies that can potentially shoot. Uh, so, like, going up here might not be the worst idea for our guy to take out the sectoid. Uh, I do wonder, we only have one shot uh, right now, and then we need to reload. I'm not sure if he's, so, if he's aware I'm that very he's tempted out to of just cover. clear out some of these guys before we reload. Oh. <laughs> uh, interesting. Interesting. Unfortunately, 0% crit and the 3 to 4 damage range. Uh, I think I'll leave that guy to you. Um, and instead, we are going to take out some of the small boys. Uh, we can... Because either way, we are unlikely to kill this sectoid. Um, take a headshot, reload, and then potentially grappling hook. Yeah, I have an idea. Let's see if it works out. So, no, not you. You we want to take out. There you go. 
then we reload. He plays the class pretty well uh, for We're still on all two things actions. considered. And we need two shots to take out the sectoid, which we can manage. Um, we can probably take out a few aliens. Actually, we can take out a few of these guys. Because you will need your shot to take out the size zombie. Unless I kill the sectoid. So, yeah, that's probably highest priority. So, what I was thinking about doing is jumping over here. But I don't seem to be getting any options to do so. With my grappling hook, which is uh, very sad. Very sad that that's not uh, something I get to do. Where else can we go? Nowhere. Not really anywhere. Why can I jump here? He's not really. You can only go to a higher level. elevation, I guess. Yeah, he's in a limbo. No. In that case. You can take him out with one shot, as far as I understand. The uh, sectoid, that is. So, as opposed to what I was originally planning, we are going to try and shoot down some of the runners. So there's only one left that I can actually aim at. That's 50-50 uh, if it actually dies. No crits. Chris is on the uh, on the hunt. Let's and see. Let if... me just reassure. Yes, we are indeed on our second action. No. Hail Mary, I guess. Uh... Free damage. Get wrecked. Good. I gotta definitely move back. I don't want Zirkim uh, to take any more damage. Killing the zombie. Yeah, shame we had to shoot the, the zombie instead of taking out the alien. It is what it is. At least uh, Zirkib is going to stay alive. Our rookie, uh, Mike, was not so lucky. Mind control will run off uh, next turn. Unfortunately, I think we still have a grenade left over, if I'm not mistaken, and that's pretty bad. Let's hope that the mind controlled um, that the mind controlled uh, soldier uh, Roby will not uh, kill our skirmisher. Oh wow, we're being in a tough spot. Got to make some hard it's like choices. That guy was out of ammo. Do have to say that hit uh, upstairs was a lot of bull. Jesus. Maybe they can get a hit against uh, the sector then. Wow, really? That's much better. Oh boy! Well, he knows. Well, mind controlled. Okay. You're out of ammo. I'm down to two shots. Okay. I hope that didn't just break my control. Yes, it did. Oh wow! Uh, um, I'm going to help him here and just grapple to the next potential place. Uh, yeah. At I still have no cover. control, it seems. That is uh, very unfortunate. Um, also, I'm not sure if that was you using the grappling hook there. Huh? Do I have it back? No. Let's see. No, still don't have it back. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out at some point. Um, can I, like, right-click? Does that not break anything? That breaks things. 
All right, I'll intervene here for uh, wow. for a second and wait a second. I'll, I was uh, clicking on one of the symbols up here. I know. I I will intervene here for a second. And it moved him into a fantastic position. So we're fixing that situation and just remove uh, uh, just remove that uh, real quick because. Um, uh, he did not do that on purpose. Uh, let's make sure that we have our uh, that we do have. Did you just give him two action points, I console. Doesn't look like you did. So I am going to give him two action points back, uh, and then I am going to. Oh, thank you very much. And then I, I seem to have no control over the camera, but I do believe it is following my uh, my mouse cursor. Chris, I unmuted myself real quick. Um, let me just fix yeah. the situation. I, w I wasn't fully done. Um, uh, it's not your fault. Um, that is a technical issue. Uh, let me just uh, try to get your soldier back. Uh, there is a command uh, for TTC, which is teleport to cursor. So you're right back at your original spot. And we've given you both of the action points back. I'll mute myself. Um, apologies for the um, inconvenience. Uh, it's it's a matter of the tool. If you still can't uh, uh, can't do it, let me um, take maybe one action uh, so that and and then I'll give you an action point back um, uh, so that you can uh, that you can normally act. Um, don't want yeah. to fumble with anything. Okay. Shame about the grappling hook, yeah. But uh, yeah, as far as I can tell, I like it's not reacting to my cursor again. Like every time you basically switch out yeah. of the game for a moment, yeah, I lose the ability to affect it. It does register the mouse click, and since I can't actually click on my soldier, the least I do is immediately move. I get it. Uh, just tell me the, the issue, first. Right? Uh, let's tell me that just if that happens. Well, I again... was going to shoot the sectoid. That okay. was going to be the plan. Um, at least if it's uh, that's the problem I can't actually see if it's in cover or not and I would have used the grappling hook to get in a decent position to do so now, unfortunately you did use the grappling hook previously uh, yeah to do so I, I give you a little spoiler you couldn't have done it because you were in a bucked position you didn't know that um, and the only way to get out of there was the grappling hook um, it was actually a, a game bug um, I'll put myself on, <laughs> yeah. on mute again um, and leave it um, here uh, for okay. you. All right. Can you... Uh, muted myself yeah, again. Can you quickly see? Let's see. That's definitely not my actions, I think. Nope. So uh, if you could try and aim at the sectoid, since I can't really see what our two-hit chance is on this guy. Um, I hope it's actually sectoid. Yeah, it is 64%. So we have uh, quite a few shots, so most likely we do the same we did previously. So take out two, actually we want two shots at 64% to make sure we kill this guy. Yeah, we're just gonna take two shots at him, so please take a shot. I click wildly. Fantastic. Um, and in this case, since we did manage to get it back, now I actually have control again as well. Uh, we can do the usual, which is take out Lost. Uh, we'll leave the Advent Trooper for the uh, Lost to take care of, but we do kind of want to get him the hell out of that situation if we can. Wow, that's a absolutely miserable positioning, I will say. Um, That doesn't really give you cover from the Advent Soldier if he feels like shooting you. Uh, the stun guy is also there. And I'm still not 100% sure if their AI is coded in such a way that it tries to screw you over. What is this? No. Uh, open, closed door. I, I don't think there's much to be opened or closed here, my dude. Now, oh, well, <laughs> probably another visual issue. Um, we only have one soldier left on the enemy team. Two soldiers, actually. No, 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 don't do that. Please stop. Let's quickly have a look where they actually are. So we have one guy. Ah, yeah, the stun soldier right next to you. Makes sense. Mm. Move over here. We can't shoot this one. You can't really take care of him. 
be a bit busy. You still have two actions, right? And you can reload and take several shots. So you should actually be able to take care of some of them. Stancho soldier is going to catch up to him either way. And let's see what's our crit chance on him. And then I'm actually going to move behind that car most likely. That is a 40% crit chance again. Which we would need to take him out. Okay, well, we'll do that. From to here, there's no other ones except this one. So yeah, decent chance. Go here. We take our shots. Thankfully, the aliens uh, were nice enough to uh, reload for us before uh, we got control back. 78, 78. 73. And our stunning friend. He's doing very well. Um, I am surprised, yeah, with the exception of that risk one or risk. I think we do have to thin out the lost either way. So I will take a shot at the lost first before we continue to... What the heck? Before we continue. Now again, we can gamble here for a crit to take him out, or we can take out more of the lost. I feel like if we take out too many lost, they might not target them. Um, but I also kind of feel like this guy needs to die. Uh, stun the taunt, we might survive. Uh, I don't think this guy from a flanking position we will. So we're taking one more shot at the lost, and then we're taking out that, that soldier, so we can move ahead. Wow, Good shot. Roby is putting in some then, work. One last. If you give me a quick overview here. We have one more shot with you as well. You wouldn't happen to have a good line of sight on him. 64%. If, he, really. sees, if he sees the... Uh, can, uh, if taking our shot at you uh, he hasn't seen it if he oh, sees yeah. the grappling yeah. uh, pull then he could have please killed. don't miss unfortunately he missed on the upside that is in kill territory now for our friend upstairs so for you it's going to be the usual unless we have really bad chances to hit that is a pretty good chance to hit and then take this one out and then read Load. Uh, he should have taken a shot. Uh, he should have uh, rather. Yeah. He should have rather grappled uh, this guy here. Well, it is what it is. So we got to do a couple of things. Uh, number one, we got to make sure that the Inquisitor is going to survive. And now the question of the day is. Is Roby here going to survive? Probably not. So I am knowing that Sirkim is going to take some damage and we're instead protecting Roby. Sirkim will not die, but Roby uh, could have died with uh, the stun answer. I expected none of those actions and I feel bad about it. Luckily for us, my April call saved him. Mm. Yep, uh, uh, that pretty much saved him. And I also uh, saved our skirmisher up here. Taking one point of damage in return. I knew that uh, this would not be deadly. Oh boy, we are in a tough spot. Yeah, interesting. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I think up here the choices are pretty easy. Kind of need to take care of the two lost here. Easy headshots too, so let's get rid of them. 
what is a bit confusing is the fact that it looks like he actually no longer has any line of sight on anything downstairs. I would have expected him to at least be able to shoot him. Should go but to yeah, the seems balcony. To be gone. So we go up here. Yeah, good choice. Good we choice. have a line of sight on another lost, which we could take a shot at and reload, or we could take a shot at the uh, flanked stun baton boy and take him out. That is probably, well, not take him out, but at least damage him, and then take him out with our friend downstairs. Uh, we can move back. What's your ammo down here? Really shit. So no movement for him, but we can take out a few things. Don't Let's let him stand there, buddy. See. Reload. And then let's have a look at what we can actually aim at. So we have Chris friendly neighborhood just, stun lancer here. Chris pretty guaranteed hit. It. Same for this one, so we would shoot him first. Probably wouldn't shoot the brute. Um simply because it won't die. And probably not gonna risk the sixty nine percent hit chance. Nice by the way. <laughs> and definitely not risking that. We can't really move. Oh, you can so move. Just get your ass into cover, mate. Take the guaranteed shot down here against a small boy. Well, almost guaranteed. <clears throat> Go. Uh, Let's hope we're getting the stun lancer, though. Elsewise, yeah. this is going to be very, very bad. Um, up here, our Inquisitor still can move. Now I wish I still had the grappling hook from before. This is cover in both directions. It's a good spot. One of the zombies could run up though, which is a bit of an issue. No, he couldn't. He does know it. But it's actually as far blocking as I him. I can tell. I don't think there's some other. That is a decent vector as well. And I think. That should still get him, yeah. I think okay. I'll teach and him the tactic to block the zombies uh, with the here, staircases. Go here, and I hope that's not another visual bug, else we're screwed. Very screwed. Okay. This one, 100% hit chance. Four damage. So yeah, um, we can take him out for sure. Uh, we will probably have the issue that this brute is going to do whatever this brute generally does. And from what I can tell, we probably can't run away from either of these two. Oh, he could. He could just go upstairs. You'll deal with that. And then this guy, yeah. Don't stand there. You're going to sacrifice Roby. That's a better uh, idea. If I knew the AI, I would bet on like these two fighting each other, but I get the impression that's not what they do. Get so upstairs. unfortunately we have to take out the stand answer for now. Upstairs! Get to the chopper! <laughs> <laughs> You're up. Okay, we got no cooldowns here whatsoever, no ammunition. So really the only thing that I can do is minimize the issues yeah and essentially just take a shot probably going to see that Roby is likely going to die here which is a shame but uh, Chris didn't know the situation so there's absolutely no blaming him I think he does a fantastic job in maneuvering Maybe the AI is going to shoot. No, it is not. Well, we're lucky. Uh, however, the stronger brute still hits like a truck. In hindsight, as always, probably would have been a good choice to um, let you go first and then go with this one. It's not going to get slapped by the big lost, which we could have, um, yeah, had shot it. Um, extraction is. Uh, no way, so I assume we have to call our own. 
No, still no grappling hook. We have no ammo, so first order of business. Pretty clear. Hundred percent hit chance, headshot, and yeah. easy choice. And then we have our free action. There is a lost one coming in. There's only one more enemy on the map at the moment. So let me just think about this. Call Sky Ranger. I think that didn't cost idea. us an action. Good idea. I do believe. If we like place it here, we should be able to like move up to the guy, That's shoot him in the face, and I goofy. think you should be able to reach it. Fantastic. I like Let's have it. a quick look. No, not quite. If we place it like all the way back here. Whoops. Sorry about that. Um I mean we should be fine this turn. There's no enemies here yet, so I'm just gonna make sure this guy dies. Best of my ability anyway. Eighty nine, eighty eight percent. I can't tell. There we go. Robbie survived it Stuff. like a beast. Oh, Look at just that. Enough. That's nice. Fifty five enemies. So uh, that is actually quite good. I... Good rating. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's seventy five percent of soldiers that have come back. That's where I'm at for the moment. Yep. All right, we're back. Chris, that, what a mission, right? 55 enemies, and you just went through it like a berserker. Look at that. Gravely wounded, 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 uh, memorialized. What's your takeaway? Uh, well, I mean, it's easy to get most of the kills if you make sure uh, the other guy loses one of his guys imme immediately. <laughs> that was quite uh, good. Please yeah. promote your soldiers. You do have two promotions going for you. Okay, let's, let's start with the one we already know. Which is uh, him, so we have Shredder at the moment, it seems, mm -hmm. for the uh, armor shredding. Uh, and then suppression, let's see, that was the uh, penalty to aim. Um, and free reaction fire, where we have demolition to destroy cover. Um, considering how often we're trying to destroy cover, I will pick this one, even though when I like played the game, I usually picked suppression, because like... Less chance to hit and the chance for a free Overwatch always seems really good. Okay. But uh, I feel like Demolition might be the better choice. All right. Uh, just to be able to destroy cover without grenades. So we're going to use this. And then let's have a quick look at uh, him. Gifted level intelligence. That's the thing where he gets more uh, points. Correct. You got 11 Alrighty. and 9 from the pool, so theoretically you can even take 2. Yeah, but we, I kind of want to use some of them on the normal soldiers instead of spending them here. So throwing a grenade, using an item no longer ends the turn. Okay. Lightning reflexes. Each turn the first reaction shot against you misses. That seems pretty neat. Um, when fired upon, gain one extra action on the next turn, triggers one's permission. Mm, that seems really nice. Uh, the one issue is with him that he struggles to reload, but he can also use that action to reload, so we're actually going to grab that. Okay. Um, I guess like this. There we go. Perfect. And I guess you get to memorialize another... Uh, <laughs> Another well, we're filling, uh, we're filling the wall at this point. Uh, there we go, uh, immortal in our hearts. What a guy, right? Look at that, our one crate. What that uh, brought us? <laughs> Supplies, alien alloys, uh, and you got a scope. A right? shit ton of corpses, yeah. And you got a scope, a scope which is uh, plus five percent to aim. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, quite a few corpses this time around. I hope you can actually do something with the, the lost corpses, <laughs> since we seem to kind of be filling our hall with those. Yeah, it's yeah. it's less beneficial I assume, uh, than you might think, uh, because you can also farm the lost, so uh, they don't give yeah, you a yeah. for it. Anyways, the after action report is done, guys. Uh, and that brings us, uh, after a pretty long mission, uh, towards the next uh, end of our next mission. 
Um, if you like uh, the episodes with Chris and our relaxed um, uh, take on uh, the game, um, you need to give it a couple of comments. Um, I will persuade Chris to come back if that's uh, the case. Um, if, if you this isn't it, relaxing at all. <laughs> I'd like to point that out. He lies. <laughs> he lies. If you like the see, if you like the series, guys, um, give it a couple of thumbs up, and see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> bye bye.